Hello everyone! Are you ready to learn? Let's begin! Can you identify which of the following mixture is heterogeneous or homogeneous? Rubbing alcohol Homogeneous Soft drinks Homogeneous Chapsui Heterogeneous Aquarium Heterogeneous And last one Orange juice Homogeneous mixture We have here Water and sugar What do you think will happen if we mix them together? Let's find out. After stirring it, you can see that the sugar disappear. When you dissolve sugar in water, you form a solution. A solution is formed when one substance dissolves in another substance, and it is a homogeneous mixture. When substance in the solution is dissolved, it breaks down into molecules. In our example a while ago, upon mixing, the particles of sugar eventually dissolve in water. This means that the sugar is no longer visible but still in the water. In a solution, substances mix thoroughly. After stirring, it appeared as one substance. You can no longer distinguish one component from another. For example, when you mix water and juice powder, you cannot identify the powder juice because it's already dissolved in the water. To form a solution, you need two substances, the solute and the solvent. In our example, the solute is the sugar and the solvent is the water. When you look at a solution, it is not possible to distinguish or identify a solute from a solvent. Solute is the substance that being dissolved and usefully present in smaller amount. Some examples of solute are salt, juice powder, and coffee powder. Solvent is the substance that dissolves the solute and usually present in larger amount. For example, water. Water is considered as the universal solvent because it can dissolve so many solute. But remember, not all solute can be dissolved by water. Some other examples of solvent are bleach, gasoline, vinegar, paint thinner, and acetone. A solution can be classified according to the amount of solute and solvent it contains. It can be diluted solution, concentrated solution, or saturated solution. A diluted solution is formed when small amount of solute is dissolved in a solvent. A teaspoon of powdered juice Dissolved in a glass of water is an example of diluted solution. A concentrated solution is formed when large amount of solute is mixed with a solvent. When 3 tablespoons of powdered juice are dissolved in a glass of water, a concentrated solution is formed. A saturated solution is formed when there is much more solute in the solution than the solvent can dissolve at specific temperature and pressure. 
When the maximum amount of solute has already been dissolved, the solvent can no longer dissolve the excess solute. Thus, some solid particles settle at the bottom of the container. For example, when a large amount of powdered juice is mixed in a glass of water and no more powdered juice can be added and dissolved, a saturated solution is formed. A solution can also be classified according to its final phase as liquid solution, gaseous solution, or solid solution. A liquid solution is formed by dissolving solid, liquid, or gaseous solute in a solvent. Examples of liquid solution with solid solute is a syrup. The solute in the syrup is the sugar and the solvent is the water. Liquid solutions with liquid solute are formed when the liquids readily mix with each other. When liquids combine easily with each other, they are described as miscible. Alcohol is a liquid that is miscible in water. On the other hand, Liquids that do not readily combine in a solution are described as immiscible. Oil is a liquid that is immiscible in water. A gaseous solution is made by mixing two or more gases. Air is an example of gaseous solution. The solvent in air is nitrogen and the solute are oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other gases. Solid solution is a solution made by mixing a solid with solid, liquid, or gas. For example, bronze. A bronze is a combination of copper and tin. The solvent is copper and the solute is tin. Steel. The solvent in steel is carbon and the solute is iron. Brass. Brass is a combination of copper and zinc. Zinc is the solute and copper is the solvent. Other examples of a solution is vinegar. It is a combination of acetic acid which is liquid and water which is also liquid. The solute is the acetic acid and the solvent is the water. Soft drinks or carbonated drinks. The solute is carbon dioxide which is gas and the solvent is water which is liquid. Dental amalgam is also an example of solution. The solute is silver which is solid and the solvent is mercury which is liquid. You've learned about solution, which is a homogeneous mixture. To form a solution, we need a solute and a solvent. A solution can be classified according to its final phase. It can be liquid solution, solid solution, and gaseous solution. A solution can also be classified according to the amount of solute and solvent it contains. It can be diluted solution, concentrated solution, or saturated solution. Let's find out if you have learned something. Which of this mixture is a solution? Coffee! What else? Steel. And last one. Orange juice. That's all for today. I hope you've learned something new. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.